Hey everybody, how are you? Happy Monday. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Mine was really productive. Got a lot done. And I'm excited to be here with Mental Wellness Monday. Woohoo! So, I've had a couple people contact me about this. So, I thought I would talk about it today. Um, mood changes in the winter. Um, and so I titled this live, Did you, do you notice your mood changes in the winter? Um, especially if you live in the far north. Um, or where, like I noticed when I went to visit my daughter in New York, it got dark there at like 4 o'clock, 4.30. It was already getting dark. It was crazy. Now, out in Southern California, we don't notice that as much because there's so much more light. But if you're up north and it's cold, do you ever notice that your mood kind of changes in the winter? That maybe you feel a little funky in the winter? Well, I had a couple people who contacted me and I told them to talk with someone because it sounded like they had seasonal affective disorder. And you're like, what? What is that? Well, sad is when you your mood gets affected by the amount of light so i'll give you an example i lived in stockholm for a couple years for a few years in sweden and in sweden it is so far north that almost the whole winter it was dark the sun literally never comes up and then the opposite happens in the summer uh for over half the summer, the light is always up and it never gets dark. Well, we're not that bad, but um, in Sweden, they really struggled with depression and alcoholism because if you, like I loved it, like I thought it was amazing. I actually didn't like the summer as much because I kind of like when it goes, the sun goes down, but in the winter, it didn't bother me at all. But a lot of people there got really depressed. And then sometimes when we get depressed, we drink. And it was a huge problem in Sweden, huge problem. Well, a similar problem can happen for us here is that when we live in areas that are cold and dark, we'll notice that we start to feel sad. So we'll start to kind of feel like we're not that motivated to get things done. Has that ever happened to anybody or maybe someone you know? Well, maybe they struggle with seasonal affective disorder. And here are some symptoms that you might too be struggling with this. Um, you're depressed nearly every day or most of the day. And these symptoms might only show up really strongly in the winter. Maybe you do have some mild depression other times, but in the winter, it exacerbates itself and how you kind of know that you might have seasonal affective disorder is that in the spring, soon as the light changes, if you change the time where you are, you feel better, like miraculously. Um, do you start losing interest in things that you once enjoyed? Do you have some changes in your appetite and weight? Um, one of the people I talked to just didn't want to eat anymore. The other one I talked to wanted to eat nothing but carbs all day. Are you having problems with sleep? Do you feel sluggish or do you feel agitated? Um, do you find that you have low energy? That you feel hopeless and kind of worthless? That you have a super hard time concentrating? And, you know, life maybe just doesn't feel good. Well, you might have seasonal affective disorder. So in the winter, and I didn't realize that you could have this in the summer, but in the winter, you might oversleep, overeat, gain weight, and you don't even want to deal with anyone. Like you do not want to deal with anybody. And I didn't realize this, but you could also have this in the summer, but in the summer you end up being more agitated, but you don't see that very often. So I told you all those things and you're like, oh my gosh, Sidra, this is horrible. Like, give me some good news. Well, I, you know, I always got some good news for you. Because I did some research with the National Institute for Health, 
And there are some really well medically tested things that can work. First, get out in the light as much as you can, especially in the morning. So early in the morning, I know you're tired. And if you've got seasonal affective disorder, it's the last thing you're thinking about. But get outside. Try to get outside in the light. Open your shades. Open your blinds. Let the light in. Um, and if you can't do that, there are also these little lights that you can buy that simulate the sun. One of them is called a happy light. Um, they make a bunch of them. They're not super expensive. And you sit in that light for about 30 minutes in the morning. And what that does is it actually increases that vitamin D and all the stuff in your system so that you actually will feel better just by sitting in front of this light, a special light though, not just any light, for 30 minutes. You could do psychotherapy. Maybe, it's a, maybe now's a time when you want to connect with a therapist or a trusted advisor of some kind. There is some medication you could take. I read the research about that. Medication and light therapy were about equal in helping you with seasonal affective disorder, but the medication had um, more things that cause problems. But again, if medication works for you, that's great. Um, also, I read that yoga and exercise are really good for seasonal affective disorder. Why? It gets us moving, um, which is really good. And then I'm, I'll state again, try to get outside as much as possible. Also, research shows that vitamin D, because, you know, vitamin D is what we get from the sun. So if we're not getting a lot of sun, taking vitamin D could actually help large amounts of it. So you want to talk with your doctor about that. Taking a vitamin D might actually help to decrease your seasonal affective disorder. So, you know, look at, you know, kind of listen to this. And if you feel like these things are sort of creeping up on you, try to get out in the sun. Try to open those blinds so you get more light, your drapes, get more light in. Um, try to do take extra good care of yourself during this time. Eat good, get like some mild exercise, some yoga, get yourself moving. And you know what? You might actually be able to avoid seasonal affective disorder. Or if nothing else, you'll lessen um, its effect on you. So thanks so much for watching. You guys have an amazing week. And please don't ever forget that you deserve happiness now. Bye, everybody. Have a great week.